Alrighty, hey guys, it's Ben Bulls and the Pebbles here, and we're back with another kit. This one is going to make all the American modelers absolutely just cream themselves, but we're doing the M4A3 E8 Sherman, also known as the Easy 8 Sherman. And, I mean, I love Shermans, although I'm more of a Sherman Firefly guy, but I mean, it's still a really nice tank. And it's to me, so I bet you this thing will go together like a Lego kit. So, first of all, we'll start with the side of the box here, which has a nice... Diagram and everything here. And here's some text, all in Japanese, so good luck trying to read that. Yep, more of the box, which is basically just showing. Here's the diagram with the white and black stars instead of just the pure white. I like the pure white stars, but I mean the black. You probably could have some really cool, interesting kits with that. Again, here's more of the kit. I got this off of Amazon, which is why you see all the barcodes on it. Normally, you wouldn't see that on a kit like that. So yeah, that's the box. Yeah, sorry for the shaky cam. So we'll start, we'll go in detail, have some fun. So here's the, the hull. The, you start to see that later on, the more square-shaped hull instead of the rounded one. Uh, eventually I'll grab the other Sherman. Once this is done, I'll compare it to the other Sherman I have, which is an early one. Here's the rubber band tracks. I prefer them because I hate having to glue tracks together, but I did it for the tiger too so I, but i ordered metal tracks anyway so it doesn't really matter here's the gun mantlet hatches turret ring cupolas ammo cans shit ton of tools and everything this i'll probably paint up all the tools and put them on usually i don't because i'm just lazy and i also don't like tools sometimes here's the hull which is a not a bath style hull, bathtub style hull. That this is one you actually have to build. But from the videos I've seen of this, it does look like it's going to go together like an absolute dream. So it shouldn't be any issue. Which I guess it does get you extra detail. Personally, I don't care. I would have just rather had a bathtub style hull. But I mean, it, it won't be too horrible. I mean, I'm not going to complain too much. It still looks like a nice kit. You got the side skirts here and side fender thingamabobbers, back engine plate, crew figures. Um, back engine hatch. I built the, um, Korea version of the Easy 8 Sherman. That was a pretty fun kit by Tamiya, so hopefully this one also goes together just like that before. There's some stuff for the turret. And yeah, you can see the parts here. And then you have the little browning machine gun sprue, which will be all nice to, and fun to paint up. And then you got two sprues for wheels. Although there's something I completely forgot is that the way the bogeys are for the, the Sherman suspension. It means that they actually have pins. So, and stuff like that, so they slide through, and yeah, you can kind of see the dress. There's two. And here's the little attachment pieces for the side skirts. So those are that one. And, yeah, all the parts fill out, so. Or slips, so. Yeah, sorry for all the shakiness. I have really shaky hands. And also, you try to do all this when you don't they don't really make easy tripods for you so okay so here's the instructions but one thing i want to show before we do so they give you this this booklet it also came in the first thing too but i didn't really read it but i one thing i really do like and you guys can pause it is it first of all it tells you all the parts which is really helpful especially for a dumb fuck like me who doesn't know the parts of a tank even though i build a lot of tanks so you really have to wonder but, like, yeah, there's stuff like that. And then they actually have, at least in this one, just some, like, text that you can read. I'll probably have a clip of either, like, the Tank Museum, like, the Bobbington Tank Museum, or some YouTuber clip just kind of explaining the Sherman. But, yeah, th that's the the thing, and I really like the fact they have that. Where is the decals? I'm not gonna, I don't take the decals out of the bag, so I'll go to use them. But you get some nice white stars and a ammo machine gun-like thing in my bobber, so... Yeah, they do look good. You can kind of tell through the thing. But we'll just quickly go over the instructions. So yeah, this is where you build the um, hull up. Like that. You know, build more. We'll just move that so you attach everything. Front transmission cover, or differential cover apparently. You have the rear panels. You got attaching everything. Again, you have that. Attaching wheels and boat, and then you build up all the bogies. I'm gonna leave the tracks off because I like to paint everything that's green green, and then put them on afterwards. This is adding stuff, 
building the side skirts, attaching the side skirts, hatches, attaching a whole bunch of shit to the engine plate, then attaching the things. Yeah, it's a, it's a very busy tank, but she'll paint up pretty nice, I like to think. You see the turret build, more of the turret. I feel like I skipped a step, but I'll go back just in case. Yeah, like that. Yeah, we're just gonna quickly go back, because I think I, I missed the, yeah, I missed the turret part. Yeah, that's my bad. I missed the building of the turret. Yeah, you attach. Yeah. And then you have some more painting guides on the back here. But yeah, that is Tamiya's M4 ECH Sherman kit review. Sorry for the shaky hands. And I'll see you when it's all nice and built. Alrighty, so here we have the finished M4A3 Easy 8 Sherman by Tamiya. And it honestly, it went together really well. It's a Tamiya kit. And honestly, besides these like screwy little like attachment bar things, which really didn't want to go together well. Or go together well. Didn't really want to go on. It's pretty good. And it looks really well too. And... I mean, it was a very easy kit to put together. I just, this kit didn't come with any storage or anything. I don't have any spare lying around, really, to make it look all fancy as, as much as the last kit. But overall, she does look really good, and I do have some little decals on. And I might have overdone it a bit with the silver paint, which I now realize on the front there, but it's fine. She's just a really weathered tank here. She's seen a fair bit of action, and the paint's really starting to be chipped. And stuff like that. I don't know. Whatever story to make it look less ridiculous than it does. But overall, it does look good. I just I overdo it on the silver weathering, especially to make lines pop like edges. Because I like the way that looks. Okay, my finger's starting to get the autofocus off, but yeah. So yeah, I'll just do one quick, like, roll around. It is a good looking kit, so anyways, it's time for me to rock and roll on out, and I shall see you in the next video. One more thing I thought I'd show off, because I have Tamiya's other M4 Sherman, the early version, I thought I'd just kind of show off the differences between the two kits, even though they go together very similarly, because obviously they're very much the same tank. They're both a Sherman, it's just one's a very early version, one's a later version. Obviously you can tell this is the early engine hatch is a lot different than this one um the biggest difference even if you weren't to look at the hull is the turrets obviously this has the more square mantlet this has the nice rounded one i like the rounded look but that's also just the way i like things but yeah like this is the difference and the decals too were different but i also got an extra detail cal set for the early sherman which made it a canadian one which is why you see it like it as it is but yeah, so those are the two Shermans next to each other. I thought I'd show those off. And while I have it, I'll remove the that early Sherman. I'll just do the Pershing I just finished the other day. And we'll just do a quick comparison here. Obviously, the Sherman's a lot taller. Like, if you, if I were to hold like this, you can tell it's a bit taller. Although the barrel length is significantly bigger. But I also believe this is a long-barreled... Um, 76 i want to say either 75 or 76 this is a 95 millimeter so you're looking at 20 millimeters of of guns so that makes sense for why it's so much bigger but yeah these are just the kind of differences very somewhat similar looking designs in some ways i mean but in a lot of different ways they're very very different tanks obviously but obviously both would have had i think the pershing had some function in the second world war i honestly can't remember but yeah that's just a quick add-on, just so you can kind of get a look at the other tanks, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.